everyone! In this video, I'm going to use the new warp text feature in Cricut Design Space along with Offset to make these fun t-shirts. As always, lots of information in the description right under this video, so don't forget to take a look there too. You can see that I've included two versions of this graphic in this project. This version on the right is for cut and layering. You can do it with HDV, infusible ink, vinyl if you're doing a vinyl project. Any of those are possible. I've included a black offset. I sized it at 0 0.10. If you want to change the offset or eliminate the offset completely, just go to your layers panel select the offset layer and delete it. That's all you need to do. If you're going to replace it with a different size, totally up to you, then you would just go to offset and add the offset that you want. So I'm not going to be using this one in this video. I'm just going to select all, group it, and hide it in my layers panel. This is the one I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to use it with sublimation. I wanted to show you how I did this. So I'm going to text. Let's move this over so you can see it. I'm going to my font selection and I'm looking for BFC birthday party. There we go. And it's this one. I think this is a really cute font. I'm going to double click and I'm going to type girl power. I'm going to my advanced tab and I'm going to ungroup to lines. If that doesn't work for you, you can just type two separate lines. So let's center this up, align center horizontally. I'm going to leave the top line as is. I'll select the second line power go to warp and I'm going to choose number seven for the shape that I want. So let's just move it down a little. I'm going to increase the size while we play with it. I choose girl and go get the light pink. Choose power and I'll get the darker peachy pink that I like. Select both together and I'm going to group them. I'm going to add the offset all at one time. So then I'll go to offset. In this case, I'm going to try 0.15. That looks like a good size. Let's apply it. Make sure the offset is black. We want it to be very black. And we're just going to grab the girl power and move it over a little bit to the left to give it that 3D effect. If I want the offset to be larger, I can just delete it, select this group again, go to offset, and let's try point two zero. We'll try that one, apply and move the top layer over just a bit to get our 3D effect. Isn't that cute? So that's how I've made this one that I'm going to use today as a printable. At this point, I'm going to select both together and flatten, and they're ready to send to printer. If I send it to printer just like this, I don't have to put it through my Cricut machine. I can just cut off the excess paper all around with the registration marks so I don't get them on my t-shirt. And if I'm going to use my Cricut machine to cut this out, I'm going to add a white square to the background. So I'll just go to shapes, unlock it. We'll just drag it out to the size we need. I'll make it white. Center back and we'll just center this up. 
select everything together and flatten. So now I could actually use my Cricut machine to cut out this rectangle. It won't cut letter by letter because I have flattened it to a white background. This is something we see often. Group members will say, I flattened my text, but Design Space is still cutting it out letter by letter. You need to flatten it to a plain white background if you want it to cut out just a shape or just an outline of your project. So let's delete this. We don't need it. I'm going to click Make It. I'm actually going to make it two of these prints. Don't forget to mirror your projects and click continue. Send to printer. Select the printer I use for sublimation. Turn off bleed. I don't need it. And use system dialog should be on and click print. My dialog box opens. Also, sometimes we see members say that their dialog box is not opening. In that case, you need to shrink your screen, your design space screen, shrink it down and check behind. From time to time, the dialog box will open behind your design space screen. So it's easy to find. I'm going to click on layout, go to print settings. I like to use fine when I have black in my graphic. I find that my printer lays down a lot of black ink. So to avoid any ghosting, I use fine quality. Go back to print settings and click color options. I'm using advanced settings. I'm going to select Adobe RGB and gamma 2.2 and click print. So I will get my templates ready. I'll switch my overhead camera and we'll press some t-shirts. And we're back and all ready to press a t-shirt. I'm using Cricut t-shirts. I love them. They're super nice quality, super soft, and they take sublimation and infusible ink beautifully, and they hold the transfer really gorgeous. They're 95% polyester. I'm going to press with my Easy Press 3 at 385 degrees for 40 seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pass a few seconds on the t-shirt with my easy press to make sure there's no wrinkles and to take out any moisture that might be in the t-shirt. Just put that back. I'm going to lint roll as always to make sure we have no loose lint on the t-shirt. Add cardstock inside the t-shirt just to make sure that I don't have any ink transfer through onto the back of the t-shirt. We wouldn't want to ruin that project. So you always want to add a white cardstock to the inside of your t-shirt. There we go. Make sure it's all nice and flat and centered. That looks good. Okay, so I have my graphic ready. I'm just going to place it nice and centered and move it down a little bit. There we go. And I always use Cricut heat tape to assure that my graphic doesn't move when I press. I'm using Cricut Butcher Paper. It's absolutely terrific. It's so convenient. It's 15 sheets in a box, and they are, I believe it's 13 by 4, no, 12 by 14. Really terrific, ready to use, no cutting. I have a large roll that I use for larger projects, but for t-shirts and smaller projects, I use Cricut Butcher Paper. We're just going to press with normal pressure for 40 seconds. I already did the first t-shirt and it turned out adorable. I'll show it to you. 
The colors are super vibrant. For sublimation, I use Printer's Jack Sublimation Ink, and I use Koala Paper 123 gram. And I love the results. I'm always, always happy with my results. We're almost there. Don't you love this new warp feature in Design Space? I think it's so fun. And we're ready. Make sure we don't get the cord caught under our press. My butcher paper has ink transferred onto it. It's going right into my little bin. And we're gonna lift this off carefully. And how gorgeous is that? I think it's so cute and I love the little 3D effect by just sliding the graphic, the top graphic over a little bit to the left. It has that cartoony 3D effect. I think that's adorable. And this is the first one, all done. Gorgeous. So pleased with how these turned out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to try out the new warp feature in Design Space. I will share this project that I've already done if you'd like to use it. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already. As mentioned, links are in the description right under this video. Thank you for watching.